do 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 yeah. Welcome to another edition of Buck Cooks Dog Food. Actually, I've had a lot of comments on my last couple of videos on the dog food recipe that I made about calcium. So I thought today I would show you how I add calcium to my dog's homemade dog food recipe. So stay tuned. So eggshells have a high calcium content. And what I do is I use the calcium from the eggshells to add calcium to my dog's diet. First thing I do is I collect the eggshells throughout the week when I'm eating eggs for breakfast every day. I put them into an airtight container because they'll stink after a while. I do try to rinse them, but there's inevitably a little bit of yolk and it will stink a little bit. So rinse them the best you can, stick them in an airtight container, and then at the end of the week, you have your collection of eggshells. Ba-boom. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to boil them. The boiling will sanitize, clean them, and kill any germs or bacteria that it might have grown throughout the week while they're sitting in that airtight container. So we're going to boil these eggs for 10 minutes in a pot of boiling water. So simply enough, we just take our eggshells and drop them into a pot of boiling water. Oh, uh, oof, interesting. Oh. All right, come on. All right. Submerge them into the boiling water. I even like to break them up a little bit. All right. 10 minutes on the timer. And we wait. And after they're boiled, we'll move on to step two. All right, so I thought I would give you a little tip on making your dog food fresh, like my recipe in the last video. I tried something new and I think it works really well. I bought myself a food safe five gallon pail and when I'm cooking the food in my Instapot, I have to do it in stages. If you watch my video on my dog food recipe, you'll see I have to do it in stages because I can't fit it all in the Instapot. So I bought this food safe five gallon pail and as I cook the meat and it gets done, I end up putting it all in here. And then when I finish the next batch of stuff, I put that in there as well. And I can do all the stirring and mixing right in here with all the ingredients and from here I put it into Tupperware and freeze it. This five gallon pail has saved me steps, mess, and it just made the whole process that much easier to do because, because it's so big and it holds so much. I could fit everything in here, do all the stirring and mixing and then just rinse this out at the very end. So a little tidbit, if you make your own dog food, go get yourself a a food safe five gallon pail and you can do all the mixing and blending and everything right in this one thing and it saves time all right so simply enough the next step after boiling for 10 minutes is strain it and then put it onto a cookie sheet spread it out on the cookie sheet i like to break them apart because they tend to fold into one another they're also broken up a lot more because I was smashing them in the pot while they were boiling. So I'm just gonna separate them out. I don't think you have to go crazy. Just spread them out. And then from here, you put them into an oven at 200 degrees for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we'll move on to step three. Okay, so now once you get your eggshells out of the oven, let them cool a little bit because they're going to be hot, but they're dry, they're brittle, they crunch up real easily. All right, so now we've sanitized them, we've dried them, we've baked them. Now we're going to ice 
here, baby. Come here. I'm going to make you some calcium. We're going to put them into the bullet blender. And we blend to a, well, we're hoping for a powdery consistency here. That was cool. I don't know about you, but that's cool. I love watching it. Look at all this powdery dust. This is, that's cool. Look at that. Now I couldn't fit it all in there, so a little bit more in here. Ooh. It's funny because it smells like egg, but it's not pungent and stinky like an egg. It's kind of wild. I like it. I don't know if I like it, but it's pretty cool. It's science. <laughs> it's a private joke. Inside joke. All right. So let me get the rest of it in here. Let's just finish up the rest of it. How much is there? Hmm. And then get yourself a little airtight container. And there you go. Powdered egg. Isn't that amazing? I just think it's amazing. What you can do with your used eggshells, instead of just throwing them out, boil them, bake them, crush them into a powder, and then you can put about a teaspoon of powder per one cup of food for your dog to give them plenty of calcium in their diet. Amazing, easy, simple, and repurposed eggshell it's it's just amazing i love it so anyway there you go if you have any questions comment below if you like this video give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing and if there's something else you want to see let me know and maybe i'll make a video about that anyway thanks for watching again and we'll catch you on the next video